quite well unless someone's given one the atten attention. That's why I have to have two hands. But my problem is today my shoulder hurts. I yeah. must have slept on it. Well everybody it is I still got my hair up in my ponytail sorry. It's 1239 and I just woke up because I was up again until it's 1239 <clears throat> Just because it's, wow. The yeah, the clocks changed. It's kind of early for the clocks to change, or, or am I just mixed up? Because I it, never keep track of when the top clocks change. The only reason I knew it changed last night is because somebody I, mentioned it on Facebook. I thought it changes like in May when it's closer to summer. And then I just had to say good morning to my two babies. Well, two of my babies right here both greeting me this morning <laughs> and I have to take my blood and then I gotta get some for breakfast but bleh, I don't feel good today yeah <clears throat> I gotta call mom I haven't called mom so it's late I'm surprised she hasn't called me yeah you probably that's later should, than I thought it was you probably should go do something with her maybe you can deposit my check that my mother sent me for my birthday and okay. go get me some more nightgowns. <laughs> okay. I'll call her. Because I think I'm going to chill today. Maybe you guys can even bring me back some of my soup. We'll see. Okay. Right now I want to read our comments. Okay, yeah, read me comments. I got to check my blood if I can get this cat off of my table. <laughs> He sleeps in the weirdest positions. All right, that has got TV. to be, that has got to be uncomfortable sleeping with your head resting on the base of the chair. But he's just laying there. Weird cat. Hi. Hey, what are you doing? I don't, you're going out with mom, so I'm going to take advantage of the day, and I'm going to put my butt right back down here. Okay. 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 Are you going to bring me back soup? Uh, we'll see how long it takes us when we're out. It, it might be for dinner. That's fine. Okay. That, that's fine. Okay. You want to put your stuff away so yes, I dear. can have the bed? Yes, dear. You're so kind. Yes, dear. Do it now! Yes, dear. Okay, so here we are at Floors and Decor. I'm here with my mom. And uh, we're looking at tiles we, uh, to try to finish the, the kitchen. Uh, and just in case we're going to have to sell the house, we want to make sure that uh, that it's finished or relatively finished. And the kitchen, as everybody knows, is a mess. So right now I'm looking at backsplash tile. And these are uh, three inches by six inches. They, I kind of think they call them subway tile. And 49 cents each. So I'll have to figure that out with a quarter inch grout line, how many that's going to take so we can estimate that. We also have the three by threes, which are cheaper. Oh, it's four by fours. And I gotta figure out whether that would be cheaper to buy it that way, or the three by sixes. So we really like the travertine, and once we get larger, it's, a, it's $2 a square foot. And uh, it's easy to figure out how much we want when we're getting 12 by 12s, but these are 18 by 18s. I'll have to do some figuring out and I think I want to stay away from the 18s because it's more difficult to, to cut. I have a little 7 inch saw and it looks like they have plenty of it. Uh, this is a rougher travertine mm -hmm. and it's just 4x4 four four, and it's 25 cents each. Mm -hmm. 
so figure these prices out later. Now this is great for backsplash, mm -hmm. but if there's enough, I mean, and if it's cheap enough, I'd do the floor in it. <laughs> yeah, because we always make the houses great when we leave, you know. Oh yeah, well this is what usually happens, else. but uh, we'll have to price this out. Alright, and this is the, if we decide to go with the uh, uh, ceramic, this is what the difference between the two is going to be. Yeah. And it's pretty bad. So this would be awesome if I could get um, this tile. It's pretty ugly is the first problem. But it uh, wouldn't match the travertine and it's an eighth of an inch thinner so we have an issue with that. But $88 is for a 10 by 10 that, so it, that's not bad. But I can't use it because of the transition. All right, so these are what I'm going to use around the window. I've got one just to check. The, the colors are not great. No, they're not too good. And we need them darker. Here's maybe we'd have to look somewhere else. Or maybe we can pick and choose. There's oh, there's a, better a one. dark one. So, but I only need maybe six of them. So, that's going around the window. All right. So I looked at this and I'm going, well, this might be a, here's some travertine in two inch squares which are already put together and make it easier to, uh, to set and to grout, but that's $10 a square foot. That's crazy. Okay, so the next thing I need is some hardy backer. I only need the quarter inch and this looks like two by four. $12 each. This is what's going to go to cover all those holes at the backsplash and then I can put tile on top of that. So I'll have a nice clean surface. You only need one of those. Uh, I may need two or three. I have some at home, but I'm not really sure how much I'm going to need. Again, I'm going to have to measure. Okay, to finish off the cabinets, I need a couple of things. I need crown molding. And I got to tell you, this is kind of highway robbery. Thirty-seven ninety-eight for an eight-foot length. Sometimes, though, these guys are on. Will give you a twenty percent discount. And you have to wait for it, though. And uh, I still have to measure the total crown to figure that out. And the last thing I need is I've got this two of these giant um, cabinets. They're the uh, uh, the tall ones beside the refrigerator. All the other cabinets that we have here have end caps. These are basically wooden panels to go on the cabinet that's going to be exposed. But I've never seen one for the tall cabinet. And I can't find it online. And I think we need to ask somebody if what to do in that case. Because I can't put crown around the top because there's, there's a quarter of an inch difference. I have books and, yeah. So to do the exterior stonework that I've been putting off for years and years and years, I'm gonna need some mortar mix. And I figure I'll get a, I guess it's a 25 pound bag, or it's a 55 pound bag for $14. So I'll need a mixing tub. And that's 575. Okay, and to finish the front with the stone, faux stone on the front, I'm gonna need some of this, this mesh. And I probably only need one of these. And it looks like that's gonna be $5.98, $6. So that's not bad at all. Hello, everybody. It's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. I don't have a lot going on tonight, but Pierre Herrera, you're welcome for the update on Mama Kitty. I hope you all know that she is doing just fine. She just doesn't like Kevin and I for some reason, which is very strange because all animals seem to love him. But it's okay. Um, The Room TV. She's got an awesome channel, guys. You need to make sure you go and check it out. She used to be a different channel, and now she changed her name. So make sure you go by and check it out. The Room TV. Just a breeze. Welcome to the neighborhood. And Ashley Marion, 
she wanted to know how you get welcomed to the neighborhood and how you get put on to the credit roll. So, Ashley, the way to get welcomed to the neighborhood is to subscribe to our channel and leave a comment like you did. So, Ashley Marion, welcome to the neighborhood. And the way to get put on the credit roll is at our discretion. Well, if you keep putting up, if you keep commenting, the more you comment, the more you respond, and then you end up on the credit roll. So, just keep your eyes open, watch that credit roll, because you may just appear. You never know. You never know. You might not say something nice, but that's okay. <laughs> you never know. Keep your eyes open. So, we're still having some controversy over <clears throat> Psycho. Yeah, that, that's kind of interesting. Uh, Terry Johnson keeps coming up with more information. She came up with something I have, have been trying to research and cannot find. You got all the right answers. There was the initial six people, but she came up with another name. Uh, and that's uh, a He Mitz only got a piece of paper again. <laughs> I saw him aloud. Mitzi Kostner. And I would really like to see if anybody can find out any more information about Mitzi Kostner. I, I got the same information uh, from that Terry Johnson sent me. And when, if I Google her, she will pop up in a whole bunch of different places with no information about her. Uh, she looks like that she played a munchkin in Wizard of Oz. Terry saw that too. But if you were a, if you were a dwarf in Hollywood in 32, you were in that movie. That's just how it worked out. They, they, was, uh, they hired everybody, <laughs> everybody who uh, was interested. I could have been in it. <clears throat> Even but though I'm not a dwarf. There, there's not on the uh, uh, the IMDb database. It comes up with a blank page. And I can't find anything, any information about this person. But that's neat. And um, I'm, that's, that's seven people who at some point um, played uh, Norma Bates in the original um, movie. Played or voice of. So. Oh, the, the uh, Carnival of Souls. Carnival of Souls, 1962, starred a, a woman named um, um, Candace Hildegas. I actually met her, so um, yeah, that was the, from the bottom up. It uh, so um, easy question. It was the um, Salt Air Amusement Park opened in 1895. Uh, it, there's three different versions. It's moved around the lake. Um, it's it's not in the city of Salt Lake, but it's it's part of Salt Lake City. It's on the Salt Lake, and uh, the people who got it, Terry Johnson was first, Greg Myers was second, Michael 031484 was third, Bam BS was fourth, Dave Nicholson was fifth. So right on. So and I don't know who, who talked about it, but someone apparently has been there. Michael 031484 went there for a concert a few years back. That, that would have been cool. I would have loved to have seen it in 62 when it was abandoned. That would have been cool. Plus it oh. was spooky. Can you imagine if we were able to go and do an investigation in a place like mm. that? I'd love that. Awesome. But awesome. We would definitely need we'd help. We'd need scuba gear for, for that, however, because it, <laughs> it's sunk. <laughs> it's not there anymore. Okay, today's... No, you didn't do... The... Oh, it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll! Like my ears? Okay, so... What's up, Doc? So today's uh, trivia question is from the 1985 Return of the Living Dead. And that's the one where they start to say, Brains! Um, so, the, um, it was actually a comedy. It was done as a comedy, and there was several of them after that. But, she just watched Walking Dead, so... Okay, here's the question. Daryl is a... Here's so the... Cute. Here's the question. There is an eye test poster in Bert's office in the You Need a Medical Supplies uh, warehouse. What does it say? There you have it. You are all part of our neighborhood community. Each and every single one of you out there. We love you all so very much. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you. Thumbs up. Make sure
sure you go by and check out the neighborhood zoo, paranormal investigations with the neighbors, and Megan's Arts and Crafts. And we will see you guys all tomorrow. You're dressed like a rabbit. <laughs>